Hi, I'm Janet, and today's gentle yoga class is specifically designed to make you feel good. So the truth is doing yoga releases feel-good endorphins in your brain and makes you feel better. Specific yoga postures really open up the heart and elevate your mood. So this gentle practice is designed specifically to do that for you. So before we get started, you might need some props. For sure, have two blankets. If you happen to have some blocks, I'm sitting on mine here, grab a couple of blocks. If you don't, it's okay. We can manage without the blocks. You could use books or even pieces of Tupperware uh, instead of blocks. If you'd like to grab those, go for it. All right, so we're gonna get started once you get your props using your two blankets. So let me drag my blankets. And we're going to take our blankets and fold them up to support our back as we lie down. What I'd like you to do is take one of your blankets, and I have some yoga blankets here, but you can use pretty much any blanket that's got some firmness to it, and create a shape that's, well, somewhat like a square. We're going to take that shape, once you've folded it down there, and fold it over one-third of the way and under one-third of the way. So if you look at it from the side, it's kind of a zigzag, an S or a Z shape. Once you've done that, let's take that and lay it down the length of your mat behind you. You'll be lying down on it in a moment. If you happen to be really tall or really tight in the shoulders, you might benefit by using your second blanket, folding it over one more time, and laying it across the top like the letter T. So once you've got your blankets set up, you will sit back with your back to the blankets, take your palm and create a little space between your back and the blanket, and then lie down. Let me lose the scarf and here we go. Ah, so as you lie down, what's going to start to happen is your chest will start to expand, your shoulders roll open, and maybe you even lay your palms by your side with your palms facing up. If your lower back is tender, you might place your feet on the outer edges of your yoga mat, bring your knees together, just like that. If your lower back feels pretty good, you might bring your feet together and allow your knees to fall open in butterfly or bound angle stretch. For some of us, this is just too much, so the best way to do this is maybe just to have your legs extended out toward the end of the mat. Alrighty, so pause there on your back and, and perhaps even close your eyes if that feels right for you. And with your eyes closed, I want you to notice how your body is breathing. When we experience discomfort in the body, when we experience sadness, when we feel angry, when we're confused or frustrated, our breath gets really shallow and it's, it's high in the chest. So what I'm going to ask you to do is place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And then take a big breath in. Feel your belly rise. Breathe in more and feel your chest rise. Can you breathe in anymore? Go ahead. Try to breathe in as much as you can. Inhale. Open your mouth and exhale. Let it all out. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to your belly. A little bit more into your chest. And see if you can breathe in even more. Breathe deeply. And then open your mouth, let it out. Good, one more time. Inhale to the belly, into the chest, all the way up into your shoulders. Sip in a little bit more. And then open your mouth, let it all out. Good. Go ahead and let your hands lay back down by your sides, palms open. And try to breathe deeply in and out of your nose. So one way you can change your chemistry and feel better is to breathe more deeply. Another way is to allow your shoulders to really fall open. You can do this by maybe angling your arms up a little bit more. Really feel the chest stretch open. We'll take a few more breaths here. Your eyes can be open, they can be closed. Evaluate as you lie here, how do you feel right now? On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you? It's just an evaluation, not a criticism or a judgment. And we're evaluating now, so when we come to the end of this gentle yoga practice, we can reevaluate and see if we feel even better. 
Continue to breathe as deeply as possible and start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And then bend your knees. If they're not already there, place your feet on the outer edges of your yoga mat and allow your knees to come toward each other. If it feels good, gently windshield wiper your knees. Careful, you're balancing on a blanket, so stay balanced as you just loosen up the hips. And then coming to stillness, toe heel your feet toward each other and see if you can allow the knees to fall open. Maybe you started like this, come back to it. How does it feel, loosening up the hips a little bit? In yoga, we believe that you store life in your body. So here we're just kind of letting it go, relaxing. Let's take a couple more breaths here, noticing what it feels like. If anything I suggest doesn't feel good, then choose not to do it. Do what feels good in your body. Maybe you use your hands on the outer thighs and you bring your knees up and together. Reach your right arm over to the side and roll onto the right side of your body. Rest for a moment on your side. Maybe your left hand lies in front of your heart. Just take a moment to soften into this posture. This is supported fetal pose. And it reminds us that in our yoga tradition, we are designed to be happy. So let's press ourselves up to seated. And as you come to seated, we'll come to seated on one of the blankets. For my body, I like the one that's folded over a little bit less. If you have really tight hips, you might enjoy a higher prop, like a blanket, or if you have blocks, you could sit on a block. So I'll move that prop that I'm not going to use, the blanket, out of the way, and the blanket that I'll sit on, I'll come to seat it more toward the front edge of the blanket. So I'll turn to the side so you can see what I mean by that. If I'm sitting toward the back edge of my blanket, my back will tend to round. If I move my seat toward the front edge of the blanket, my knees will drop down more easily and my pelvis will tilt a little bit. So find yourself with your pelvis tilted slightly back so you get a little bit of curve in your lower back. Then your hands may come to rest on your knees or thighs. And you'll just pause for a moment to roll your shoulders up toward your ears and then send them down and back. When we feel sad, our shoulders tend to round forward and it creates a slouch and a rounding of the back. It looks sad, doesn't it, to sit like this? So when we feel happy, we tend to stand tall. And even if we're feeling sad, simply changing our posture can really kind of change our energy. And if we uplift our energy, we uplift our spirit and we feel better. Back to the breath. Focus on your breath once again. Try to breathe slowly and deeply in and out of your nose. And then bring your hands to what we would call prayer position, Anjali Mudra, in front of your heart. Close your eyes or gaze down over your fingertips, and let's take a moment to set an intention for our practice. The intention I have for today's practice is to grow our level of happiness, to feel joyful, to feel good about our life as it is. Take a deep breath in and draw in what happiness feels like. And then open your mouth and slowly breathe out. <sighs> Seal your lips, breathe in and out of your nose. And release your palms face down on your knees or thighs. This hand position is one of grounding. Maybe the eyes stay closed. Feel the texture of your hands or whatever you're wearing or your skin. And feel your body beneath your clothing. And let this hand position be a reminder to take care of your body and to do what feels good. And now turn your palms face up on your knees or thighs. And with your hands open, be open to receiving the goodness of our practice today, of our yoga. Whatever it feels like in your body, be open to feel better about yourself, your body, your life. And then open your eyes. And let's notice how our legs are crossed by gazing down. Roll your shoulders down and back, and remember which leg is in front. And then lift your gaze all the way up with your head falling back. Move your jaw up and down. Are you storing tension in the facial muscles? See if you can loosen them up. 
Maybe with the mouth slightly open, you swivel your jaw gently side to side. And then seal your lips and bring your gaze back to neutral. Lower your left ear towards your left shoulder, just feeling the stretch in the side of your neck. We hold tension in our body, and this is an opportunity to see where we're holding the tension and use the breath. As you breathe in, notice the tension, and as you breathe out, let it go. Come back up to neutral and do the other ear to the other shoulder. Right now, we're taking our right ear to the right shoulder or whatever is your second side. Do you feel tension now on the other side of your neck, the left side? Could you let some of that tension go as you breathe out? And then bring your head back up to neutral. Lower your chin, look at your feet, stretch your legs out, move them around, and then recross them with the opposite leg in front. Sit up nice and tall, and let's take those neck stretches a little bit deeper. Take your right arm, reach it high, bend it over your head to touch the tip of your left ear, and draw your right ear towards your right shoulder, just noticing the stretch on the left side of your neck. It's a little more intense using the hand, so if it's too much, you can let it go, and maybe you do this without the hand like you did earlier. Then take your hand to the back of your head, turn your chin over toward your right knee and draw your chin down at a slight angle. Notice how the stretch moves down into the shoulder. Those of you that do jobs where you use your arms a lot, like servers, nurses, people who cut hair, right, hairdressers, you get tight in the shoulders and in the neck. So let the stretch help release some of that. And then bring it back up, releasing your hand releasing your head, and let's do the other side. Reach your left arm high, bend your elbow over your head to touch the tip of the right ear, and then breathe out as you draw your left ear toward your left shoulder, or whatever's the second side for you. Notice any tension that is releasing now on the right side of your neck. You might even notice that it's a little different than the first side. Maybe this side is looser or tighter. It's just something to learn about yourself. Then take your hand to the back of the head, turn your chin toward your left knee, and as you exhale, draw your chin down at an angle so we're stretching through the muscles on the back of the neck and the side of the neck. Just take a few breaths here, noticing how it feels. And then rise up, lifting the head up, lowering your hand down. A lot of us do hold tension in the shoulders, so let's move our shoulders around a little bit. Just swirl them around, rolling them up towards your ears as you breathe in and down and back as you breathe out. Do that a couple of times. Oh, it feels good. And now reverse the direction, shoulders squeeze back and up and then down in front. Just keep it going. Feel your body breathing. Even if the breath suggestion doesn't match what you're doing, it's okay. As long as you're breathing, you're doing it right. Now let's articulate one shoulder at a time. Take your right shoulder up and back, and then your left. Keep it going a couple times. Feels kind of silly, feels kind of sexy, and always makes me smile. Let's take our arms out wide like the letter T, and then give yourself a nice big hug. Taking your right arm under the left, looking down at the arms just to see, and then give yourself a squeeze. Doesn't that feel good? And then open your eyes up. And take your lower right hand to the upper left elbow, take your left arm out in front of you, and then guide it across your body for a nice big stretch. Take a couple breaths here. Feels so good. Woo, let's release it out and do the other side. Left arm under right, or whatever's the second side for you. Give yourself a squeeze, it feels so good. And then let's take the arm, stretch your left hand to the right elbow, right arm out, and draw the straight arm across your chest. Oh, that's really nice to release the tension you might be holding in your shoulders and your upper back. And then release the arms out like the letter T, turn your thumbs down, sweep your hands behind your back and interlace them at your tail. Begin to lower your fingertips toward the yoga mat behind you and lift your chin up and just stretch your heart open couple breaths here. This really helps to stretch the muscles that might be short and tight across your chest. Oh. Now lower your chin back to neutral and arms come out and release. Nicely done. Let's change up our legs once again. We're going to stretch the legs out and wiggle them around and then bring the bottoms of your feet to touch with your knees falling open. 
This is called bound angle or butterfly. We did this lying down a moment ago. Sitting upright, we can intensify the stretch by bringing our heels closer to our groin. Maybe give your feet a little massage. One of my teachers, Amy, used to say the feet are the underappreciation, underappreciated servants of our life. So take a moment to really appreciate your feet. I always like it when someone else massages them for me, but here we are, so I'll give myself a massage. I hope you're doing the same. And then lift up nice and tall as you breathe in and hinge forward as you breathe out. Go as light or as deep as feels good. Maybe you need to support your hands on yourself, on your hands as you bend. And then slowly come back up and send your feet out a little bit further so we have a diamond shape sort of with our legs. Let grow tall as you breathe in and hinge forward as you breathe out. Loosening up the lower back and the inner thighs and the hips with these stretches. Take one more breath here. And then come up. For this next stretch, I recommend coming off of the prop, the blanket that you might be using, and open your legs out wide like the letter V. Now, everybody's body is different, so if you're really tight in your legs, you might benefit by taking your blankets or blocks and placing them underneath your legs. Try to create sort of an evenness on both legs. I've been practicing yoga for over 20 years, so over time I've gotten a lot more flexible and it feels good for me. I'd like your feet to be maybe flexed a little bit, toes pull back toward the shins, sit up nice and tall, and this could be it for you. But I promise, stay with your yoga practice, and over time you'll start to be able to stretch forward. Go as far as you comfortably can, and then just soften there and breathe. Ah, oh, feels good. I'm feeling the stretch in the back of my legs and in my inner thighs. Check in with your body. Where are you feeling the stretch? Breathe into the tightness. And as you breathe out, you may be able to go just a little deeper. Good, take two more breaths here. Check in with your feet, flex them, yeah. Use your arm strength to slowly walk yourself back up. Let's take this into a side body stretch. Take your left hand out towards your left big toe, reach out as far as you can go, take your right arm up and take a little side body stretch over. We tend to round forward here, so take the upper lifted shoulder and pull it back and maybe even look up underneath your right arm. Take two more breaths here, nice and slow in and out of your nose. And then come all the way back up and let's go to the other side. So we're gonna take the right hand out, reach up and side body stretch over. You might begin to pull your left shoulder back as you stretch over. Where do you feel it the most? For me, it's definitely through the lifted side of my body but maybe for you it's more in your leg. Whatever you're feeling is what you're feeling and it's good, just give into it. As long as it feels good, you're doing it right. Let's come back up, reach both arms high, pivot toward the extended left leg and gently fold over your left leg. Your left shoulder falls down easily. Try to pull the right shoulder down just like that and woo, you can really feel it. And then lift your gaze, rise up, reach up, turn to the other side. Here we go, over to the right. Notice the right shoulder drops pretty easy. Draw the left shoulder down, really work in the intensity of the stretch. Come as high as you need to or as low as you can. You can drop your chin to your chest or keep your gaze lifted, as long as it feels good. And then let's slowly start to rise up. Now let's combine some of these stretches. Take your left leg and bend your left knee. Place your left foot on the inner right thigh. Turn toward the, the bent knee, the left knee. Right hand on the right shin. Take your left hand up and let's start with that side body stretch. So as we stretch over to the side, look up underneath your left arm, pull the left shoulder back and go a little further. Good, take a couple more breaths. Nice. Come all the way up. Reach both arms high, turn toward the extended right leg and then fold over your right leg. Pull your left shoulder down, really get the most out of the stretch. One more slow breath here, we got this. Exit with strength, reach beyond the right foot and all the way up. Now take your left hand, place it down on the floor behind your left butt cheek. 
Take your right fingers to the right big toe. It's just fun to say butt cheek, isn't it? <laughs> Sweep the earth in front of you with your left hand. Push into the right hand. See if you can come onto the left shin or stay on your seat and reach your right hand up and take it one more layer. Drop your head back and open your heart wide. One more big breath in. Breathe it in and as you breathe out, circle all the way back down. Nicely done. Second side, here we go. Left leg reaches out, right foot comes to the inner left thigh. Let's turn to the bent knee and place the left hand down. Take the right hand up, breathe it in, and enjoy that side body stretch as you breathe out. Pull your right shoulder back and look up underneath your right arm. And with every breath out, go a little bit deeper into the stretch. One more breath. Good, breathe in, rise all the way up with both arms high, pivot toward the extended leg, and as you breathe out, fold down over your left leg. Draw the right shoulder down to get more out of the stretch. Go only as far as feels right for your body. This should feel good. The more you flex the left toes toward you, the more intense you'll feel it in your leg. Now gather some strength, lift your gaze, reach beyond the left foot, and inhale to lift all the way up. And as you exhale, place your right hand down behind your seat, left fingers to the big toe of the left foot, sweep the earth, and if you can, come on to the right shin as the left arm reaches high, take it all the way, drop your head back, a version of gate pose, feels so good. One more big breath in, and as you breathe out, circle all the way back down. Very good, oh, feels amazing. Let's change positions. Come to tabletop onto your hands and knees. I highly recommend a blanket beneath your knees for a little added padding. If your hands are tender, you can put a blanket under your hands as well. So as you come to your hands and knees, you might also incorporate blocks. So have the blocks nearby just in case you need them. We're gonna start in tabletop with the hands beneath the shoulders, knees are aligned beneath my hips, and my hands and fingers are spread nice and wide. Here we go, let's move the body as you breathe in. Drop your belly, lift your gaze, roll your shoulders down and back, even bend your elbows. Ah, this is called cow pose, good stretch. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, press away from the mat into cat, like a scary cat on Halloween. Flow with me, inhale cow, lift the gaze, look up. Exhale cat, round it out. Roll two more, let's breathe in, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Breathe out, round it out. One last time, breathe into cow pose. And breathe out to cat pose. On your inhale, come to a neutral tabletop position. Take your left hand, sweep it out and up. And as you exhale, thread the needle left arm under right. Now you might wanna take your block underneath your temple or your shoulder if it's hard for you to get your head down. If you can get your head all the way to the mat, go ahead and lower it down. Take your right hand, reach it up, turn it down, and bring your right hand behind your back, just like that. Then lower your right palm to the mat and sweep your left arm high and come back to tabletop. Let's try that on the other side. Take your left hand, circle it up. Take your right hand, reach it up. As you exhale, sweep your right arm underneath your left arm. Come down to your right shoulder, right temple. Take your left hand, lift it up, turn your thumb down, and bring the hand behind your back. We're opening up the shoulder joint just a little bit, stretching the body, feels really good. Ooh, take a couple more breaths here. Mm. Nice, and then put your left hand down and reach your right hand high. And come back to tabletop position. Let's stretch out our hamstrings. Take your right foot to the back of the mat and push the heel back, good. And then switch it up and do the left. Maybe moving back and forth a little bit. And then coming back to tabletop position, we're gonna to move to lying on our belly. So what I'd like you to do is take your blanket out of the way. Here we go. And then shift forward and come to lying all the way down on your tummy. Our practice today is all about feeling better, feeling good, feeling happy. And one posture that we do a lot of that makes us feel better is a back bend. So we're gonna do different versions of backward bending, heart opening here. So coming into Sphinx Pose, you wanna align your elbows beneath your shoulders, and as you reach across, your fingertips can touch the opposite elbow, so you know you'll have it lined up just right. 
Now what I'd like you to do is try to relax your legs, relax your buns, relax your lower belly, even relax through the back, but use your shoulder strength and upper back to lift and look forward. So we're creating a back bend. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. If it feels good, stay with it. Roll your shoulders down and back. And then release by opening your elbows wide, palm step one on top of the other, and then your forehead rests on the back of your hands. If your lower back feels tight, try this. Bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet side to side. So good for releasing the low back. Now place your feet back down. I'm gonna take this into a cobra pose. So zip your legs together, one cobra tail. Place your chin on the mat and your palms beneath your shoulders or next to your chest. Use your arm strength, breathe in and lift up and breathe out to lower down. Do that a few more times with me. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. Keep your elbows tucked in. Here we go, one more time. Inhale, lift up and exhale, lower all the way down. Go ahead and place your palms beneath your forehead. Press your forehead on the backs of your hands and if you like, bend your knees and windshield wipe your legs side to side. From there, let's push into tabletop and come to sitting on our heels. So here's where a block comes in handy or a blanket. This posture is called hero pose and I'm sitting all the way down on my heels. That might not be possible for your knees. So if you need a little bit of help, you can separate your feet, separate your knees, put a block beneath your seat, and sit on a block. A blanket works as well. I bring you to Hero Pose to remind you that you are heroic. You're heroic for showing up for yourself on your yoga mat today. You're a hero for trying. We know that life can be difficult. Absolutely, it can get us down. But we have a choice, and we have to make that choice to keep trying to discover what builds happiness in our heart. What makes me happy is different than what makes you happy. So figure it out, what makes you happy, and do more of that. We're gonna to come to resting in a supported Shavasana with a big heart opener, just like we started. Now, some of you who have blocks might like to take that same example and go a little bit deeper using your blocks. So if you recall, we have the blanket, it's folded like the letter S, and the second blanket that can go on top of it for a little pillow for our head. So feel free to recreate that if that's what you're working with today. You just got blankets, please do that. All right, those of you that have blocks at home, and we do have a link on our site that you could, on our um, YouTube channel, that you could get some of these blocks yourself. They're not too expensive, it's totally worthwhile. So we're gonna place our blocks in what looks like the letter T. So this one here is at its second highest setting. That's going to be a pillow for my head. This one here is at its lowest setting and that will support my thoracic spine, my rib cage. You wanna be mindful you don't put the block against your lumbar spine, your low back, because that can be very uncomfortable. All right, so as I come down, gentlemen, it's where your shoulder blades lie. Women, it's the bottom of your bra, that bra strap area there. That's where the edge of the block goes. So bring it to that spot, take some time, and then place your head on the block behind you. There we go. And if you're comfortable extending the legs out, do that with your palms open. If you need to maybe support your low back because it's tender, feet on the mat, knees touch, that really helps. Anybody really want a good hip opener can go back to bound angle. So please find the position that's for you and close your eyes. And notice how your body is breathing. Continue to lie in this resting pose called Shavasana. Usually you're here for about five minutes. I'm going to come to seated and just share some insight as you rest. Every day of our lives we have choices. Definitely we have other people in our lives they affect how we feel about ourselves but we're in charge of our life. This is your life. You get to decide how to live it. And yoga helps us. To follow the path of yoga is simply to practice breathing, to practice meditation, some prayer, that would be a sort of meditation prayer, to physically move your body every day. 
And those are just three of the things on the path of yoga that help build joy and happiness into life. So I hope you feel better. How do you feel? Here it is, the end of your practice. Thank yourself for taking this time. And if you feel ready, come to seated. When you come to seated, bring your hands back to prayer position, right in front of your heart. You might keep your eyes closed or gaze down over your fingertips. A while ago, we set an intention to increase our level of happiness, to find joy. And I hope you find that that is true for you right now. Draw your hands up to the third eye, the space between your eyebrows. In this position, we end our practice with a Sanskrit word that means, the light within me honors the light in you. And I'd like to add today, the joy in my heart honors the joy within you. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing gentle yoga with me. If you don't have the props that I used, I do have a link provided for you below so you can order the props and have them in your home. I hope you're enjoying your subscription to our YouTube channel, Free Yoga Club. We love your comments and feedback. We have tutorials on all sorts of yoga, so check out some of our other videos and I will enjoy some yoga with you again soon. Thank you.